so today it finally became that time of the month for me. That precious, difficult time of the month where I do a Q&A video. So make sure you wait around to the end for a special surprise. But until then, hello, my name's Luke Cubforth and welcome to my Ask Hole. Can you do a cartwheel? Okay, we're in quite a small room here. It looks big on here, but... <laughs> no, Tottington Burbage, you have been slain. How many household items can you balance on your head at a time? One, two, three, yes, four, yes, five, yes, six, yes, seven. <laughs> Do you ever go to a random fan's page and look through it? I would. Would you, Alison? Well, let's see how it feels, shall we? This is Alison, everybody. And this is... <laughs> what the... What are you doing, Alison? I feel like she's trying to teach me a dance, so... Step one. Mmm. The seductive crab. Step two. Mmm. The sexy model. And step three. Casual against the wall. And that is the Alison Boogie. If you'd like to join along at home, it goes like this. You too, tripod. What is your worst knock knock joke? Knock knock. Who's there? Europe. Europe who? No, Europe who. <laughs> do you have any houseplants? I actually do have one houseplant. I used to have a family of houseplants. I had a cactus, I had some kind of weird tree thing. Basically, all of my other houseplants died because I forgot to water them, and then I got this little tiny prince. Look at how cute he is! I don't know what breed of plant he is. Are they breeds? His name is Bill, and I plan on getting a girlfriend at some point, or a boyfriend, depending on, you know, he's not let me know yet, so we'll see. But Bill, or whatever you decide to name him, is going to live in the corner of my videos for the rest of time until I forget to water him and he dies, and then I'll just display his corpse instead, because I'm just like that. I'm a crazy psychopathic plant murderer, obviously. Well, I just look fucking crazy, don't I? <laughs> Does it suck to be you? Mm, well, I guess. How is the film going? How is your film going? How's the film going? How's the film going? How's the film going? How's the movie going? How's the movie going? If you don't know about this, by the way, I'm making a film, uh, which you can see the poster of there. That's one of the posters. How exciting. Firstly, it was the most amazing thing of my entire life, even though it freaking killed me on the inside, and I just started melting away into a void of unhappiness. But I'm back now, I'm happy now, please. I, I, I... It's currently being edited, so in about two weeks, I'll see the first proper cut of it, and I'll probably freak out and cry and explode. The sound is being partially done in India. Like, this is so, this is, this is just, <laughs> the main thing is that everything is going great, and I'm really happy, and thank you so much to the people who helped make it happen, and I can't wait for you to see it. Please see it, otherwise I'll never be allowed to make a film ever again. Boy. Recommend us a dank meme. If there's one passion I have in life, it's dank memes. In fact, I have a whole folder on my phone dedicated <laughs> to dank memes. And today I'd like to recommend to you this dank meme. I feel like it sums up me as a person. What do you do when you're sad? Post memes. But you're always posting memes. Yes. <laughs> I'll start sixth form really soon, and all of my friends are going to different colleges. Any tips on how to make a new friend list? My advice to making friends in new situations, genuinely, not in a buy my merch way, is merch. Buy merch for things that you love, like YouTubers or bands or Taekwondo or, or K-pop. Because other people who like those things will see you and identify you and latch onto you and be like, I want to be your friend because we like the same thing. So for example, the t-shirt that I made is this because it's a really nice way of advertising people. I like YouTube and I like that loot guy. But at the same time, it just looks like you're wearing a shirt with a hair on it. It's like a giant billboard for friendship for internet weirdos. Uh, but that's the best kind of friends. That's the only friends I have now. Choose a random picture from your camera roll and explain it. <laughs> Love you. Okay, so this may appear to the untrained eye to be a picture of me lying on the floor doing nothing. But oh no, you are so wrong. This is a picture of me embracing my flaws. Basically, I thought this joke ages ago when I saw a YouTuber like, you are perfect the way you are, embrace your flaws, you're wonderful. And I was like, Ugh. and secondly, I'm gonna embrace my flaws myself. And I was gonna tweet it, but I thought it was too terrible. So maybe I'll tweet it now. Maybe I won't, we'll see. I'll... Can you try to say something in Swedish? Varför? Jag talar inte svenska. 
me. Come at me, bro. Fight me. Oh, wow. Okay, so I feel like I'm gonna make a lot of enemies with this. I would marry Patty, obviously, obviously. Snog Shane Dawson because he's bi, so it's like acceptable. And then I would kill Josh Dunn, but not because I don't like Josh Dunn. I love Josh Dunn. Fantastic Aww. Josh Dunn. Love me, Josh Dunn. I would kill Josh Dunn for one reason because I would love to stand over him as I'm going to kill him, look in his eyes, and say. Josh. Yes? You're done. <laughs> this is just, it's the best line ever. I can't not do that. So sorry, Josh, but in my mind, you're dead. you dead, bro. you dead, bro. you gone. you done. you Josh, you were done. you Josh, you were done. Would you ever shave your head? to regret my life choices a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I'm joking. It's just a magic effect. We've been doing this video so long that it has become nighttime outside. Well, we started it a little bit this. And now it is vampire season. So if you enjoyed the video, please make sure you give a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Before we go, I just wanted to quickly tell you about a channel I've been doing some stuff for called Money Stuff, which is a channel that aims to in educate the internet people on how to not completely fail at life. It would mean a lot to me if you go check that out, which is in the description down below, or you can click on this giant coin. Look at this giant coin. I wish I had this much coin in my real life. It's a really cool channel and something I genuinely really care about because I don't feel that there's enough stuff out there teaching people our age how to do the life thing. As always, please leave your questions down below for next month's Ask Hole, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye. I'm going to go and wash the ten layers of grease out of my hair for a five-second bald joke. Fantastic content, Luke. Well done.